Christopher Hemsworth A.M., born August 11, 1983, is an Australian actor. He rose to prominence playing Kim Hyde in the Australian television series Home and Away, 2004-2007, before beginning a film career in Hollywood. Personal Life Hemsworth began dating Spanish model and actress Elsa Pataki in early 2010. After meeting through their mutual representatives, they married in December 2010. The couple have a daughter, born in May 2012, and twin sons, born in March 2014. In 2015, the family moved from Los Angeles to Byron Bay, New South Wales, in his native Australia. Hemsworth speaks limited Spanish. Hemsworth's children train Brazilian jiu-jitsu under Thalassan Soares, and he has regularly taken them to compete in national tournaments. Hemsworth was appointed a member of the Order of Australia in the 2021 Queen's Birthday Honours. In Episode 5 of his National Geographic documentary Limitless, 2022, Hemsworth revealed that his maternal grandfather suffers from Alzheimer's disease. It was also revealed that Hemsworth himself has inherited two copies of the APO4 gene, one from his mother and one from his father, which makes it eight to ten times likelier for him to eventually develop Alzheimer's disease than the general population. Early Life Christopher Hemsworth was born on August 11, 1983 in Melbourne, to Leone, Naven O.S., an English teacher, and Craig Hemsworth, a social services counselor that he is the second of three sons, following Luke, born in 1980, and preceding Liam, born in 1990, both of them are also actors. His maternal grandfather is a Dutch immigrant and his maternal grandmother is of Irish descent wink with a frown non-primary source needed. On his paternal line he is of English, Scottish, and German ancestry that he was brought up both in Melbourne and in the outback in Bullman, Northern Territory. He has said, My earliest memories were on the cattle stations up in the outback, and then we moved back to Melbourne and then back out there and then back again. Certainly most of my childhood was in Melbourne, but probably my most vivid memories were up there, in Bullman, with crocodiles and buffalo. Very different walks of life. He attended high school at Heathmont College before his family again returned to the Northern Territory and then moved a few years later to Phillip Island. Career Early Work, 2002-2010 Hemsworth started his career by appearing in several television series. In 2002, Hemsworth starred in two episodes of fantasy television series Guinevere Jones as King Arthur, as well as making an appearance in soap opera series Neighbors and one episode of Martial Law. The following year, he appeared in an episode of The Saddle Club. In 2004, Hemsworth auditioned for the role of Robbie Hunter in Australian soap opera Home and Away. He did not receive the part, but was subsequently recalled for the part of Kim Hyde. He moved to Sydney to join the cast, appearing in 171 episodes of the series. He left the cast of Home and Away on July 3, 2007. Hemsworth later remarked that although he became more visible after Home and Away, his work on a soap opera did not earn him respect within the film industry. Hemsworth was a contestant on the fifth season of Dancing with the Stars Australia, partnered with professional dancer Abby Ross. The season premiered on September 26, 2006, and after six weeks, Hemsworth was eliminated on November 7. Hemsworth's appearance in the franchise almost cost him the role of Thor, as producers of the Marvel film franchise feared fans would be put off. In 2009, Hemsworth played James T. Kirk's father, George Kirk, in the opening scenes of J. J. Abrams' film Star Trek. The role was initially offered to Matt Damon, who turned it down. Abrams appreciated Hemsworth taking on the role. Josh Tyler of Cinema Blend was impressed with Hemsworth, describing the actor scene as the best five minutes I've spent in a movie theater this year. The film was a box office success, grossing $385.7 million U.S. dollars. That same year, Hemsworth played the character Cale Garrity in the thriller A Perfect Getaway. It received mixed reviews, but Hemsworth was praised for his appropriately intimidating performance of a thuggish backpacker. Paul Yen of Screen Rant also praised Hemsworth's performance as solid. Hemsworth went on to play Sam in 2010's Cash alongside English actor Sean Bean, which was the first film he shot when he arrived in the United States. The film's director, Stephen Milburn Anderson, said Hemsworth had only been in the United States for six weeks when he had auditioned for the role, recalling, here's a guy who is young, has the right look, is a very good actor and, let's face it, he's beautiful. So I say, we need to get this guy in. 
I was very impressed that in November 2010, The Hollywood Reporter named Hemsworth one of the young male actors who are pushing or being pushed onto the Hollywood A-list. Thor and Worldwide Recognition, 2011 to 2015. In 2011, Sony Pictures announced that Hemsworth would star in the thriller Shadow Runner, but the film was never made. That same year, Hemsworth was cast as the superhero Thor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. His first film in the franchise was 2011's Thor. He and castmate Tom Hiddleston, who ultimately played Loki, had each auditioned for the role, for which Hemsworth said he gained 20 pounds of muscle, with a worldwide gross of $449.30 million. Thor was the 15th highest-grossing film of 2011. The film received positive reviews, and Hemsworth's portrayal of the God of Thunder was praised by Kenneth Turan of the Los Angeles Times. Hemsworth reprised the role the following year for the film The Avengers, 2012, as one of the six superheroes alongside. Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark slash Iron Man, Chris Evans' Steve Rogers slash Captain America, Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner slash Hulk, Scarlett Johansson's Natasha Romanova slash Black Widow, and Jeremy Renner's Clint Barton slash Hawkeye sent to defend Earth from his adopted brother, Loki. The film was a critical and commercial success, grossing over $1.5 billion US dollars worldwide. The ensemble cast was praised for their on-screen chemistry by Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. Hemsworth shot the horror film The Cabin in the Woods shortly after the release of Star Trek, but it went unreleased until 2012. It garnered positive reviews, and his portrayal of alpha male Jock Kurt Vaughn was described by Alison Foreman of Mashable as his sexiest role yet. Hemsworth later starred opposite Kristen Stewart in the film Snow White and the Huntsman, 2012, as The Huntsman. Although a commercial success, grossing 396 million US dollars worldwide, it received mixed reviews. Critics were critical of Hemsworth and Stewart's on-screen chemistry, and Angela Watercutter of Wired felt the characters were not fully fleshed out. Hemsworth was cast as Jed Eckert in the 2012 Red Dawn remake after MGM saw Daly's footage of a scene from The Cabin in the Woods. He was cast as Thor two days after being cast in Red Dawn. The film was a box office bomb, grossing only 50 million US dollars against A. Production budget of 65 US dollars million and received negative reviews. Hemsworth in 2013. In 2013, Hemsworth starred in Ron Howard's sports drama film Rush, as 1976 Formula One world champion James Hunt. Henry Barnes of The Guardian was impressed with Hemsworth's performance, praising the actor for delivering the superb script with some mastery. Later that year, Hemsworth reprised the role of Thor for the sequel to Thor and Thor, The Dark World, 2013, although a commercial success with a worldwide gross of US$644.60 million, the film became the lowest-rated film in the MCU franchise on the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes at 66% approval rating. The chemistry between Hemsworth and Hiddleston was praised by critics, Ben Child of The Guardian wrote, thanks to Hiddleston and Hemsworth's impressive collective charisma, Thor, The Dark. World is far from a franchise killer. In 2015, Hemsworth starred in director Michael Mann's action thriller Black Hat, opposite Viola Davis, the film bombed at the box office and was poorly received. For many critics, a significant issue of the film was the casting of Hemsworth as a hacker. Christy Lemire of the Chicago Sun-Times remarked, anyone who makes their way in the world sitting in front of a computer screen all day is not going to look as hunky as Hemsworth. Hemsworth himself later admitted to being displeased with his performance. I didn't enjoy what I did in the film, he commented. It just felt flat, and it was also an attempt to do what I thought people might have wanted to see. But I don't think I'm good in that space. He reprised his role as Thor for the fourth time in the sequel to The Avengers, Avengers, Age of Ultron, in addition to the film receiving positive reviews and grossing over US$1.4 billion US dollars worldwide, Hemsworth also won the People's Choice Awards for Favorite Action Movie Actor. Hemsworth returned to the set of Home and Away in November 2014 to film a scene as an extra and not as his character Kim Hyde, the episode which he appeared in was broadcast on May 19, 2015. That same year, he co-starred in the comedy film Vacation, along with Ed Helms, a revival of the film series that originally starred Chevy Chase that he was nominated for the MTV Movie Awards for Best Kiss with Leslie Mann. His last 2015 film was In the Heart of the Sea, based on the book of the same name by Nathaniel Philbrick, with Hemsworth playing first mate Owen Chase. 
In an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live, he said that to prepare for the role of starving sailors, the cast was put on a diet of 500 to 600 calories a day to lose weight. I in the heart of the sea received mixed reviews from critics and was a box office disappointment, grossing 93 million U.S. dollars against a 100 million U.S. dollars budget. But Hemsworth received a nomination for Choice Movie Actor, Action at the 18th Teen Choice Awards. Continued Commercial Success, 2016, Present In 2016, Hemsworth reprised the role of Eric the Huntsman in The Huntsman, Winter's War, alongside Jessica Chastain, who played his love interest. Writing for IndieWire, Oliver Littleton criticized the on-screen chemistry between Hemsworth and Chastain, stating that they're both struggling uphill against accents they're palpably not comfortable with, displaying zero chemistry, and frankly appearing to be in different films. The film underperformed compared to its predecessor, grossing only 165 US dollars million. Hemsworth later joined the cast of the reboot Ghostbusters film, playing Kevin the receptionist. The film disappointed critically and commercially, but Hemsworth was praised for Deliver, ING, the most fun by Caroline Westbrook of Metro, and won the Kids' Choice Awards for Favorite Movie Actor. Hemsworth promoting Thor, Ragnarok at the 2017 San Diego Comic Con. Hemsworth reprised his role as Thor and Thor, Ragnarok, released on November 3, 2017 in the U.S., and again in both the third and fourth Avengers films, Avengers, Infinity War and Avengers, Endgame in 2018 and 2019 respectively, all three films were a critical and commercial success, Matt Zoller cites of RogerEbert.com likened Hemsworth's acting to Cary Grant, stating that Hemsworth's charisma holds, Thor, Ragnarok, together whenever it threatens to spin apart, Hemsworth won the Teen Choice Awards. For choice sci-fi movie actor, meanwhile, in his review of Avengers Endgame, Joe Morgenstern of the Wall Street Journal acknowledged Hemsworth's Thor, endearing despite some ragged material and the actor's seemingly limited dramatic range while praising Hemsworth in the MCU Infinity Saga finale as the graceful, exuberant comic actor he was destined to be, while Thor morphs, alarmingly and charmingly yet still heroically into a beer-bellied apparition who could pass for Jeff Lebowski. In 2017, Hemsworth was the guest narrator at Disney's Candlelight Processional at Disneyland. Hemsworth was to reprise his role as George Kirk in the fourth film of the rebooted Star Trek film series, but he left the project in August 2018 after contract negotiations fell through. Hemsworth later said he found the script underwhelming. In 2019, he also starred in a spin-off of the Men in Black series, titled Men in Black, International. The film grossed 253 million U.S. dollars worldwide and received generally unfavorable reviews from critics, who criticized the lackluster action and forgettable. Plot, although the chemistry between Hemsworth and co-star Tessa Thompson was praised. The following year, Hemsworth starred in the Netflix action thriller Extraction, reuniting him with the Russo brothers, who served as producers. After being watched by 90 million households in its initial month of release, the film broke Netflix's viewership record previously held by Bird Box. Hemsworth reprised the role of Thor in the fourth film, Thor, Love and Thunder. Filming began in February 2021 in Australia, and it was released in 2022. Hemsworth worked on Limitless with Chris Hemsworth in 2022, a six-part documentary series for National Geographic. The show paired Hemsworth with noted filmmaker Darren Aronofsky. The show has Hemsworth appearing in a variety of different ways that humans have sought to increase their health in a variety of different ways. The episodes saw Hemsworth take a plunge in icy Arctic water, fast for long periods of time, and participate in an indigenous Australian ceremony the last of which resulted in some controversy for the show, as indigenous groups claimed that filming at the sacred site was disrespectful to the culture. Hemsworth returned as Tyler Rake in Netflix's Extraction 2, 2023, which earned him $20 million. Hemsworth starred in the Mad Max, Fury Road spin-off Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, released in May 2024. The Washington Post wrote that he had perhaps created one of the all-time great screen villains in his role as the warlord Dementus Hemsworth voiced a young Optimus Prime in the Transformers prequel film Transformers 1. Public Image after appearing as Thor in the MCU franchise, Hemsworth's physique gained attention from fans. His exercise routines have been regularly discussed in the media, including the Times of India, Men's Health, Men's XP, Entertainment Tonight, and Metro. Did he later created the Fitness App Center, which provides paying customers access to nutrition, wellness, and exercise routines to thy end 2014. He was named the sexiest man alive by People magazine. 
Hemsworth is an avid supporter of the Western Bulldogs in the Australian Football League that he was the star of the AFL's 2014 Everything's Possible campaign, donating the fees for his involvement to the Australian Children Foundation. Hemsworth was also the star in the AFL's 2017 I'd Like to See That commercial. Wealth As his career in Hollywood films has developed, Hemsworth has become one of the world's highest-paid actors that he appeared in Forbes' world's highest-paid actors list in 2014, 2015, and 2018. Additionally, he ranked 31st in the magazine's list of highest-paid celebrities in 2018 and 24th in 2019 with estimated earnings of $76.4 million U.S. dollars. Charity in May 2020, Chris and his brother Liam were among the celebrities who read an installment of Roald Dahl's children's fantasy novel James and the Giant Peach in aid of the global nonprofit Charity Partners in Health, co-founded by Dahl's daughter Ophelia, which had been fighting COVID-19 in vulnerable areas.